Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, made possible by our exclusive community at Patreon.com. If you're a regular viewer, we encourage you to visit Patreon.com forward slash RBDR, and we'll tell you why later. I'm Bob Lederer. Bill Harvey continues his series with us this afternoon with advice concerning how companies can build their brands in today's complex and confusing marketplace. Today, you will hear about his suggestions about some aggressive advertising approaches for your consideration. Today we're going to talk about how to grow a brand uh, by a more aggressive means, uh, going way beyond the concept of reaching people who buy in even a product category. If you look at an ad, um, what does an ad consist of? There's the impression that it makes on you, the visual content, the audio content, um, but what are the subconscious motivators in the ad? Do they relate to being a person who's more attractive? Do they relate to being a person who's more confident? This goes on and on. There's lots of human motivations. Uh, the system that I've developed called driver tags is one way at this. So driver tags are 265 of these subconscious motivators. What if you have determined that you've got a certain set of these motivators in your ad? Why not then, uh, when possible, target not only the people who are known purchasers in the category, we last uh, time uh, here spoke about heavy swing purchasers as a particularly good target. What if you go beyond that? You combine heavy swing purchasers with all of the other people who have these motivators. And the reason I say that is because we've now got these driver tags on 93 million Americans. So that using any digital media, you'd be able to target these people on top of the purchase target. Uh, this is a testable, uh, and in fact, we're working with a number of advertisers and hope to have some results to present to you on uh, a future occasion like this. Uh, but it's a testable proposition. And whether you use our driver tech system or some other system, the ad itself can be a way of determining an additional growth target. One comment about uh, growth targets, my work at TRA showed that the ROI you can get when you reach out and do missionary work to bring in people who aren't users of your brand or maybe not even users of the category, um, you, you can't have the same ROI expectations. You have to judge them based on consumer lifetime value, uh, brand share growth. Uh, you're going to have to overpay from an ROI standpoint to reach out uh, to bring in uh, people who are far from being users of your brand. You have to accept that if you want to grow. Research Business Daily Report is made possible by members of our exclusive community on the platform known as Patreon.com. It's a crowdfunding platform for those of you who have not heard about it before. Special thanks to all of our current patrons who joined the viewer group because they recognize the value that RBDR brings to conversations and information in our industry. And we want to personally thank our most recent patrons, Brian LaCicero and Owen Charlebois. Now, if you're interested in becoming a member of the community, and if you're a regular viewer, we can't imagine why you would not. We want you to also know that in becoming a patron, you can gain access to certain RBDR perks and services. Size of your research operation doesn't matter, neither does the type of research you do, or even the company you work for, and it doesn't matter if you're a client or you work on the supplier side. And as Ray Pointer, one of our patrons shows. It doesn't matter where you are on the planet Earth. There are so many reasons for an RBDR view to become a patron, particularly if you're watching us every single day or most of the time. So figure out your best reason. We could give you several, but we'd rather hear it directly from you. And become an RBDR patron today by going to patreon.com forward slash RBDR. Thank you very much. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.